This is Tom from the 125 Live TechMates team in Rochester, Minnesota. Our main purpose is to assist 125 Live members with technology. Our YouTube videos and website can be enjoyed by anyone free of charge. Classes and personal assistance are available free of charge for 125 Live social members. Non-members are charged a $10 guest fee. Call 507-287-1404 to join. Now let's get on with the video. In this video, you will learn how to do Mac trackpad gestures and how to personalize how some of them work. Mac trackpad gestures are somewhat familiar to those you might already be familiar with on your smartphone. A good way to learn how to use them is by opening up System Preferences. So I'm going to click on System Preferences on my dock, open it up. And then in the second to the bottom row, on the right side there, click on Trackpad, open up a window. And in the window on the left side, you'll have some settings that you can make. And the right side, depending upon which setting you're hovering over, it'll show you a demonstration of how it works. So in this case, the first one is lookup and data detectors. Tap with three fingers. And in the window on the right side, you can see that, that uh, you're looking at a district market document. And if you're hovering over a particular word and you do the tap with three fingers, it'll show you the definition of the word. In uh, other applications that might provide with additional information that makes sense relative to the application you're in, or even provide some additional functionality that you can access by tapping with three fingers. Next is secondary click, and that's also known as the right mouse click to many people on a right handed mouse. And you can see there's a down arrow here, so there's several other options. So first one is click or tap with two fingers. Second one is click in bottom right corner of your trackpad, as you can see in the demonstration window. And the third one is click in the left corner of the trackpad, demonstrating now. I kind of like the, the two finger finger, so I'm going to Click that option. Some people like might like the bottom left or bottom right corner. It's similar in a way to like on a mouse, you would be clicking on the right side, you know, the right mouse click. And so the right side of the trackpad might make sense to you. And if you like that, then that would be the one to choose. Next is tap to click. And that's pretty basic. Um, you hover over something, click on it, like I did on the on the menu, when I clicked on the system preferences, I just clicked on it and I got it. So next, we have some settings where you can determine, you can change the amount of pressure you need to apply to your trackpad to do a click. And if you set it on light, then it's just going to take a very light tap and you'll get a click. Medium is a pretty good place for most people. But if that's too sensitive for you, you can you can make it firm. And that basically means if you, you have to give it a pretty firm tap in order to get a click. On the right here, we have tracking speed. And you can change it from slow, right up, various amounts, right up to fast. Uh, I kind of like in the middle. I think for most many people, that'll be fine. Um, an example of how that would work would be if you are reading, uh, say, a, a large document or a word processing document or something like that, and uh, you would need to scroll through it, uh, the scroll speed would be faster or slower. This option on the bottom, force click and haptic feedback. Uh, the bottom line on that one, is if you check on that, you'll get one more choice up here. And that is for a force click with one finger. 
and uh, you can see it being demonstrated. It's like you press, but then you keep pressing, you can feel to go down a little bit further. Some people like that, and other people prefer to stick with the three fingers. So whichever one you prefer, you can choose that one. That's what's called a force click. Okay, moving along. The next option up here would be scroll and zoom near the top here. Click on that. And you have several options there that you can choose. Scroll direction natural. You can choose that or unchoose it. And I think most people prefer the default, which is the content tracks your finger movement. As you look at an example, there you see the person is, is scrolling by using the two fingers and dragging them down on a trackpad. And what's, what you're seeing on your screen is gonna move just in almost in concert with the movement of your fingers. The thing that uh, is a factor here is, we'll go back to the other, to our initial window here. That's where the tracking speed comes into play is if, you, if it's not fast enough, you can change the speed here, or if it's too fast, you can slow it down. So you have to experiment with that a little bit, probably before you get to where you, you like it. Next is zoom in or out. And that is pretty much like what you'd be doing on a smartphone already. Unpinch to zoom in, pinch, to zoom back in. Smart zoom, two taps, two taps to zoom in, two taps to zoom back again. Rotate, it's kind of handy for photos. Sometimes uh, it looks better in a portrait mode and sometimes you like having it in a landscape mode. One benefit there is that it utilizes your whole screen and, and you actually have a little larger view of, of what you're, of the picture that you're looking at. And finally, more gestures. I like this one. It's swipe between pages. Uh, this is similar to like if you're using uh, like a e reader where you're reading, uh, say, reading a book or a magazine. And it's almost like, I think most people find that to be intuitive. It's kind of like you're swiping from page to page in a book or a magazine. And I think most people are going to want that on. There's some other options, though, if you click on a down arrow there. Uh, you can swipe with three fingers. And you can also say two or three. So whatever you prefer on that, um, I like the the two fingers is fine for me. Next one is swiping between full screen applications. This is useful if you have several full screen applications open at one time. You can just swipe left or right with the three fingers, and you can can. Move, go from one full screen application to the next, back and forth, conveniently. Down arrow, you have a choice of three or four fingers. Notification center. I think some people find that to be similar to what their smartphone behaves like. If you swipe off to the side, it'll open up your notification on your Mac, and uh, I'll do it right now with mine, and you'll see it appear from the right side of the screen there. And if I do it back again, it goes away. There you go, it's that simple. Mission control. As you can see, swipe up with three fingers, and then all of your open applications will be appearing in your on your screen and that enables you to when you do the swipe up you can hover over one of them tap on it and and navigate over to whichever one you want to navigate to 
app expose. That can be pretty useful if you have more than one window open in an application. It will show them all and you can navigate from one window to another conveniently that way. And then there's a down arrow here. Again, it has to do with three or four fingers. On the previous one, I didn't show you the down arrows. So it's the same idea, three fingers, four fingers. So the choice is there too. And then the next one is launch pad. If you pinch with thumb and three fingers, you'll open up a window with all of your applications in them, in it. So it's a pretty convenient way of finding an application if you don't already have it on your dock or somewhere convenient to open it. So pinch and then unpinch. And another similar, another direction would be show your desktop. I think of that as an unpinch and a pinch, but with thumb and three fingers. You might find that useful. What I'd suggest you do with these, it might seem like a lot of possibilities to try to keep straight. If some of these look like they have good potential for you, uh, I would suggest maybe just write them down in a little notepad, keep that handy for a little while until you get comfortable with it. Uh, another thing is you can always like go over here, go in setting, system preferences, open up trackpad and take a look again, right? It'll be wherever you were last and you can go from there and just find uh, whichever gesture you're wondering about and, and it'll refresh your memory and how it works. So that's it for this demonstration. I hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions, send us an email with your name, phone number, and a brief description of your question. Personal assistance is available free of charge for 125 live social members. Non-members are charged a $10 guest fee. If you aren't already a member, call 507-287-1404 to join.